Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today, in this unturned map editor tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to use the visibility and players tools that are found within the level tab. Now, these are going to be the last two tools that I will cover in this uh, tutorial series, and guys, I have covered all the tools, all of them, every single one. So yeah, if you're if you think I'm missing one, please uh, look through the videos, and you'll find that I have not missed any. So yeah, and I'm very sure about that. Though okay, so these this is the last video about tools, but this will not be my last video. I'll be at least having one more video about how to submit your custom map. So just keep that in mind. This is not the last video. So let's just get into it. So the visibility tools, they're both really simple guys. So all this really does is it turns on and off whether you can see things in your editor. It doesn't get rid of them, it doesn't delete them. If you, Once you play on your map they'll still be there even if they're not checked. But this right here, that is a node. If I turn the nodes off, they will not be seen. Let's see, uh, that's zombies right there. If I turn that off, zombies can't be seen. Um, border. The border is this red, this red uh, slash line thing. I can turn that off as well. And so guys, pretty much you can just turn all these things off. Um, and pretty much the only use for it is to declutter your map so you can see what you're doing a lot better. And you know, I could see this actually happening. See how these uh, item spawns are red? You know, you can turn them on and off as well. Well, if they happen to be blue and these zombie spawns are also blue, I could possibly get them mixed up together. I could think maybe that these are uh, item spawns that are blue instead of zombie spawns. So, you know, it this tool has a use. Uh, usually you probably won't use it much though. Um, besides just clicking these uh, circles, you can also use the hotkeys of F1 through F9. Okay guys, funny story about that uh, F1 through F9. Well, I accidentally pressed F10, which just happens to be the uh, stop recording button for the recording software I'm using. So yeah, I'm back. Okay, so the last tool, that's that's pretty much all there is to visibility. It's really that simple. So the last tool is the player spawns, and these spawns just control some of the possible places that your player can spawn whenever somebody plays your map. Now this angle slider controls the angle at which they will face when they spawn, so you can get pretty specific about that. Like if you want the guy on top of the hill to face towards the city, well, not really even a city, just a couple buildings. You, know, you can put them there. Um, you know, there's it, there's it covers the whole 360 degree range. So I mean, you can do whatever you want with that. It doesn't cover like whether they're laying down or whatever, because your character can't do that, obviously. Um, besides that, you can subtract them by using this subtraction bubble that you control the size with the radius. It can get pretty freaking huge. Um, yeah, the only other thing I have to tell you about this is that every time somebody dies or joins the world for the first time, it'll be random whether, which place they'll spawn in. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's that pretty much sums it up for all the tools. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like it. Um, please consider subscribing to our channel because we definitely need and enjoy the support that you guys are giving us by even watching this. So thank you guys so much. Um, as I said before, this will not be the last uh, Unturned Map Editor tutorial video. There will be at least one more. So yeah. And with that, I will see you guys later. Whoa, wicked. Whoa, wicked. Whoa. Wait!